I think I, I either have that suit or I nearly bought that suit. Yeah. I wouldn't look as good as what you do in this suit. Of course, of course I wouldn't. Look at you. Goodness me. A, a new menace, right? I mean, you, you've changed like your, your camp a little bit. You've gone up to Liverpool. You're away from home. What's going on? Listen, I'm just, um, I had a bit of um, outside life uh, was going on last year, but and some deaths in the family and stuff. But um, yeah, mate, on your way up now. Um, I've been in camp all the Christmas. I moved straight up to Liverpool. Got a new trainer, uh, new management team. I mean, yeah, mate, really looking forward to it. And look, your opponent is from Liverpool. Have you seen him around, Brad Strand? I ain't seen him around, no. I'm coming to take over Liverpool. <laughs> I'm more of a scout than he is. <laughs> you had a bit of banter with him today. I don't think he really uh, liked that. He didn't say an awful lot back to you, but I don't think he was impressed, Dennis. He wasn't happy. My gym is where he lives, in Kirby, so... You know what I mean? I'll probably see him around. Listen, you've got to sell fights, because he, he couldn't sell a pair of socks, to be honest with you. I could could you sell a, a pair of socks? I could sell, sell sand to the Arabs, I could. <laughs> Uh, what did you th- what did you think what did you make of him up there? You, you had a little face off now uh, for the first time. What, what did you make of the shape of him, the look in his eyes? Uh, he ain't as big as I thought he was. Um, I'm wearing my little flat trainer here, the pair of platforms, and he's not as big as I thought he was. His head's bigger than I thought it was. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm just am joking. It's the boxing game. We got a self fight, and um, I think I'm gonna do a big big number on him. And last time out, I didn't get to showcase my skills. You was there yourself. To be honest with you, the heat in that arena was, should be illegal. It was the hottest day of the year in the UK and, and no air conditioning, it was very, very hot, you know. There's no excuses. Um, I think um, I think I'll do a very big number in Brad Strand. Well, look, you're coming off that draw with Yonut Baluta. Uh, we had a chat probably about a year ago where we really went in depth on your life and your career. And I remember you saying in the amateurs when you lost, you'd cry for days, you'd lock yourself away. So what happens to Dennis McCann when he draws as a professional? I cried, went back to my room, you know. <laughs> Listen, um, it's part of the game, you know. I was winning the fight up to the headbutt, um, and that even took it out of me. That the headbutt just um, took right out of me. To be fair with you, but listen, it is what it is. It's the boxing game. It's the hurt business, and that's what we do. We we're trying to hurt each other. Um, I'm hopefully get rid of get rid of Brad Strand, and I'm going straight for Bluter. Going straight back for, back to him. You were, you said at the press conference that you were surprised that Brad Strand took the fight. Why? <laughs> If you were Brad Strand, would you take the fight, would you? <laughs> because, listen, he's probably looking at the last fight. I hope he is. I really hope he's looking at the last fight and thinking, you know what, I've got a chance here. And, um, but I, I, he ain't got a chance in hell, trust me. No chance in hell. Is this Dennis McCann version 2.0? 2. 3.0, my oh, friend. Oh, 3. 3.0. What's 3.0 like? <laughs> it's nasty, trust me. I'm punching harder. I'm stronger. Um, I've got new coaches and stuff. Um, the sparring didn't really... Uh, like didn't exist down in, down in my area, you know. Up to Northway, there's a lot of super vantage weights and stuff. Um, so we're very grateful to Al Smith and Andy Lamb was, was great, great, very, very, very good coaches. And I was like an uncle to me, you know, so I'm very grateful. Um, they put a lot of hard work into me. But um, I think they need to take it up a level now. And um, this year is my year. Well, this year could include, uh, I, I saw in your Instagram story, you reshared the Queensbury versus Matchroom 5 versus 5 dream, wh- which sounds like it's going to become a reality. Mm. You sound interested. Very, very, very interested. Um, let me, let me, let me, uh, I'll talk more about it after, but yeah. let, me, let me bash up Brad Sand first. Uh, mash up Baluta. But it, listen, if, if, if that comes along, uh, even that Shabazz Masood, we see that there, um, good fighter, talented fighter, you know, and not, we know each other. Uh, very respectful guy, nice guy. Um, but mate, I'll take that in a happy. I'll take that tomorrow morning. I'll fly to Saturday right now. <laughs> You'd be proudly representing Queensbury, right? Yeah, of course. Come I would. on, come on. Um, look, while I've got you, I just want your thoughts because people like hearing what you've got to say. You're a very watchable young man. Fury versus Usyk. It's mm. coming up. It's undisputed. How's that going to go? What's the Dennis McCann breakdown? Um, I think I think Fury never took that last fight uh, serious at all. Um, I know that for a fact, but uh, I think you're going to see a different, a different Fury. I'm not just saying that there because we're, we're, we're the same, same culture, you know. But I think he's going to be a different guy completely. I think he's too big. He's, be, he's too clever. He's been in camp all Christmas. He's been training very hard. What I've been hearing of, he's been very silent on the socials, but he's been working very, very hard. I know that for a fact. I think he's going to be too big and too strong. And what about Anthony Joshua against Francis Ngannou? How does that one go? See, uh, I think I think AJ uh, KO. I think AJ KO. I think he's he's he's, uh, he's going to walk him onto a big shot. Could be early. 
could be mid rounds, I think. But I think K, uh, KO or AJ. Ungarn is a big, strong guy, though. We've, we've seen him get kicked in the head. We've seen him take elbows. Obviously, he took some shots from Fury. But you think AJ can be the man to get him out? Of I think AJ can be the one to knock him out. Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, the stars make fights, as I said already. But Fury wasn't prepared for that fight, you know. And it doesn't matter who, if you're if you're in against a big, strong man and you're not prepared, anyone can walk you down. You know what I mean? If you're not fit, you know. Good stuff, Dennis. Final one. All the people watching at home, they want to know why they should be tuning in to the next fight of Dennis McCann. Why don't you tell them something? Talking to the most exciting super bantamweight here and the best super bantamweight. Uh, tune in March 16th, you're going to see the menace. Definitely a KO incoming, 100%.